How are you beautiful people doing? It is I, the task at hand, and I'm back at it again, and I know what you're thinking. Holy quality, this picture sucks ass. Well, that's not even the point of the video. Don't worry about the quality. Listen to the words I'm about to tell you. Right now, I'm going to show you how to get the cost off exotic weapon. Now, first step is the picture you're looking at right now. Go find this weapon in your vault. Might be on your, like, person that you just never use, your Titan, Warlock, Hunter, whatever you never use. Error. It might even be in your vault. Go to this weapon, dismantle it. Straight up dismantle it because you are going to get a cost of 7G schematic. Now, if you do not have this weapon, you are absolutely positively fucked. And I'm just joking. You're not fucked. Don't worry about it. Still stay on the video. Don't even, don't stop. I saw you about to click off. You're about to get pissed. Tell your friends, hey, I fucked up. But don't worry. You don't got to tell them that. Because it's easy to get this schematic. You can get it another way. Instead of starting a new character and just going to get a new weapon or a new cost of just to dismantle it, you can easily just do this. Go to the new patrol spot, the plague lands, and you're going to see me kill these two dredge, right? And I'm going to get this drop, but that's for the next part of the step. So don't, or the quest, don't really pay attention to that. You're going to want to find a broad mother or a brood mother. They spawn up every now and then. This is right at the spawn when you get on patrol. What she's going to do, she's going to always drop either a splicer key or if it's your first time killing it, she's going to drop a splicer intel relay. That's very important. Make sure, you know, you can see, you, you can tell the difference. Like, read the text as soon as you kill her. Very important part of this quest. Now that you guys have a splicer intel relay, not a splicer key, a splicer intel relay from killing one of the brood mothers, what you're going to want to do is spawn up on the plague land patrols again right and what you're seeing on screen now is me showing you the exact way on how to get there now i'm not going to put it at normal speed because i will take way too long this will turn into like a 10 a plus 10 minute video and that's just stupid i want to get right to the point i'm going to have you listen to some music and when we get to the spot that you're going to need uh you know to put the relay inside like it's a little machine thing um then i'll start speaking again This is a Chucky Beat production. Now, once you get to this area, you're going to want to look. What are you doing? There you go. Look at the machine, put in your little relay, and what this relay will do. The, remember, the splicer intel relay 
what this will do is disable the laser so you can pass on through now you want to all you want to do is pretty self-explanatory but i'm still going to show you just in case you know i don't want anybody to get lost in any way shape or form i'm going to show you the exact path that you just follow and you will get to the place where you can get the schematic And this guy is also, the guy I'm about to show you or about to fight, he counts as an ultra, so you want to pop a 3 of coin just, you know, just in case, hey, you never know, you might get an exotic, and I'll show you what happens after you kill him. And right after you kill that ultra, right, that ultra enemy, clear out any other ads, you know, if they get in your way, they're really annoying, they'll direct you right to the chest in the corner of the area he was in, and look at that you got the schematic now this is the you know secondary option just in case if you did not have the weapon i told you to dismantle at the start now that you guys have the schematic for the exotic weapon you're going to want to go to this guy shiro 4 or 40 in the tower or the new social space the iron temple and accept the quest line we found a rifle and this will technically be the start of this entire quest now the entire quest is pretty damn easy all you got to do is go back to the patrol plague lands and kill people on there and no matter who you kill it will drop a cast off manual page you need to get 10 of those and three weapon parts and um yeah you can just run around and get until you get you know 10 manual pages now the other part that you needed to do in that quest is find three cast off weapon parts that are scattered around the plague lands it's very very easy they're not they're not really really well hidden um, when you get near them, a little uh, like diamond white ghost mark comes above it, so it can guide you right to it. What I'm gonna do is, you know, show you guys uh, exactly how I get to each and every um, uh, weapon part because I do not want to get any. I don't want anybody to get lost. I don't want to skip right to it because this is still a fairly new area. So I want to make sure everybody can get there with no problem and exactly with ease. This video is going to be a little longer. I thought it wouldn't, but I'm, as I'm editing this, it's definitely going to be a little longer. But I'd rather you guys know it than, you know, be straight up confused. So again, I'm going to have some music play and I'm going to fast forward it so you guys can keep track and, you know, get right to the spot. And for the heads up, this is right at the rocket yard area, right when you're about to enter the, you know, uh, the Cosmodrome that I was showing earlier. So... You know, just want to make sure I don't want anybody to get lost. Remember, that's, you know, my number one concern. This is a Chucky Beat production. Just want to let you know, right here is the same exact place as right here. Just to let you know, it's just me going left. That's all. That's the only difference. Again, so you guys will not get lost. So 
So right when you murk off these, you know, ads that are in the way and all that shit, all you're going to do is walk over to where it's pointing you because it's literally pointing you to the weapon or the weapon part. And there it is right there. And yeah, you just collect it and then you head on back to the tower to talk to Shiro slash for whatever for. And this is now the last step and it's so damn easy and you will get the exotic weapon, the Koshtov 7G, whatever the hell. Now it's very, very, very simple. All you gotta do, select the destination, hover over Earth, go to Earth, and bam, it's at the bottom of your screen. You select it, a Koshtov Rising, or Koshtov, I don't even know how to say it. Literally 30, I skipped like 30 seconds into the mission, and bam, look it, he has a freaking a marker over his head. So easy, you can't miss it. It's literally in the 30, the first 30 seconds, of this like mission i'm not like not joking it might be a little hard it's like 320 you know I, I, I don't know if it's hard for you fuck it this is your reward i killed them and then i got fucked up by the enemies around me so i didn't get to pick it up i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the me dying out because i don't want you to see that so there you go there you go you have it that exotic that he just dropped like when i killed him that is it right then and there it, it's it's fucking beautiful there you go yo i really hope you guys enjoyed because i oh man i spent some time trying to get this all together and piece it together have a clear cut really in-depth you know guide on it so i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed if you did i'm going to be putting up more destiny content because rise of iron is out and if you're new to the channel and you're not used to how things go around here what we do we show some love you know how we do that we leave a like and if you really fuck with me you leave a fucking subscribe and become part of the task force this has been your man with a plan the task at hand and remember peace love and positivity that's the most important message and i'm out thank you so much for watching